Hey guys and welcome to the Parrot Bros. Today we're going to do a little video on a little bit of dress up. Now um, we're going to be replacing the windscreen wash um, cap. Um, so we're going to be taking it from this plastic blue one to this. A metal brush sort of silver or this, the black plastic stealth one. So before we get stuck into it, let's jump into the intro. Okay, so if you're looking to do this, it's quite an easy step. Um, there's not really a lot to it. Now the old one just removes by popping it out and pulling it off. Yours might already be broken as they tend to fail here on the, uh, the plastic ring there. What I'll do is I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can see a bit better. Um, but basically, what we're gonna be doing is just trimming. Um, there's a little lobe on the back edge here, which is where it's like a locator. Um, so this doesn't spin all the way around once it's in that sit that locator just sits in that tab there and all we need to do is remove it so that it allows these to fit in so as you can see they're just round there's no cutouts um, so it will go on a little bit but it stops once it gets to that point now obviously you want it to go all the way down so it doesn't come off um, same with the black one the black was actually a little bit stiffer but you can see it stops on that tab now the only tool you'll need is a a Stanley knife now I will give a warning these are dangerous if you're not a Stanley operating certified user please speak to an adult get your dad or someone to have a go <laughs> all jokes aside I am a first aider and I've seen many people hurt themselves with these so uh, <laughs> please be careful little disclaimer um, you can use other tools but a Stanley knife is going to get the job done now what I'll do quickly is just show you this tab prior to me cutting it off um, so you can see there wait for it to focus in See this tab there? That's what you're going to be removing. Mine's actually worn down a little bit at the top. Normally they are a little bit more predominant, but um, yeah, this has done some mileage. So all we're going to be doing is just trimming that off. What I might do is put the camera this side. Okay, so with your Stanley knife, just get the blade fully out because what you don't want to do is damage this. If you've got the blade on full, then you should be able to do it without actually damaging the bodywork. It may be worth popping something down on there just so you don't scratch it, but I'm going to be extra careful. And this is a nice sharp new blade, so just try and get a nice straight cut and just take that lobe off. A little bit at a time, you don't have to go mad. It is a little bit awkward because this is the biggest Stanley knife I could find. There we go. So that's most of it. I haven't got all the way down, we'll, we'll do it in increments, so I don't think you need to do all the way down. Let's try that on for size. And there you go, that sits nice and flush. <laughs> Car's filthy. Um, but yeah, you get the idea, it sits nice and flush there, you don't really need to go any further. Um, the black plastic one is a little bit tighter. Um, it's just a real sort of snug fit. I think once you've had it on a few times, it will go down a bit more. But yeah, there you go. Okay, guys, the other thing I forgot to mention was normally in here, there could well be a gauze, which is basically there for um, stopping any sort of crap getting in there. Um, it's also for if you're, say, pouring out of a watering can just to stop all the bits going in there and clogging it up. Now, usually you can get that by just putting two fingers in and then pushing your fingers apart and then it will lift out. It normally twist maybe quarter turn and pulls out that or you can use like a pair of grips um, and just put them in and then spread them and pull it out or there's, there's loads of ways of doing it. you can put one finger in and just pull it towards you and it will normally just lift out um, they all they do is they sit against this top edge so there's nothing actually holding them in um, but yeah that is it fitted literally just remove this tab to this side the back edge here um, the black one doesn't sit down quite as far but it does look really nice, especially if you've got a black car and you just want it nice and sort of slick looking. Or if you fancy the uh, the metal one, it's only a couple of quid more. Um, and I think that's the one I'm going to go for. Is It just looks right. Everything on this car has loads of little nice little um, sort of aluminium touches or metal brush metal touches. And it does look really great. I mean, this one actually has a rubber seal. You probably can't see. Uh, but it has a rubber seal in there so you don't have to worry about leaking or anything getting in there. And it just goes on and off easy. There's no 
no stress in the matter and it's not exactly it's not going to fall off it's well on there uh, to give you a better look excuse the dirt i did give it a little clean earlier but it's not ideal but yeah just a nice nice brush look there then put it on straight <laughs> but yeah there you go and then the And there you have it guys as simple as that all fitted hope you enjoyed the video just a nice little quick one little uh, mod which i just thought was quite a nice little one just to tidy up the bay thanks for watching guys it's another video from the parrot bros bye for now